Todd Chrisley is allegedly unhappy that he will be spending the Christmas in jail. Chrisley is very upset about his situation, according to his attorney Jay Surgent, who discussed the case with TMZ. However, he did reportedly receive a special Thanksgiving feast from FPC Pensacola in Florida, where he is currently serving his term. It appears that Savannah Chrisley will be visiting Todd around the holidays, along with Julie Chrisley, who is incarcerated in Kentucky. Similar to Julie, who was only to serve seven years, Todd was initially sentenced to 12 years in prison for 12 counts of wire fraud, conspiracy to commit bank fraud, and conspiracy to defraud the United States. Subsequently, July's sentence was shortened by 14 months, and Todd's was lowered to 10 years. Savannah revealed that she, her brother Grayson Chrisley, and her niece Chloe Chrisley will be celebrating a different kind of holiday season, which is why Todd is furious about it. Savannah posted images of herself, Grayson, and Chloe together on Instagram along with images of the rest of the Chrisley family. Savannah is Grayson's legal guardian while her parents are incarcerated. Happy Thanksgiving, wrote Savannah. I hope everyone was able to spend it with those they cherish. Dot, and know that I see you even if you haven't. I understand you. I adore you and I hurt for you. Already, as the holiday season approaches, I am experiencing excruciating discomfort. There is real holiday grief. More than anything in this world, I miss my mother and father. This year, if I have learned anything, it is that life is fleeting. Todd is battling to return home as soon as possible. In order to obtain the Chrisley's home as soon as possible, Surgeon continues to investigate his legal possibilities. Todd currently has a court case scheduled for March in which his conviction is being challenged. Savannah is glad about it, even though Todd isn't thrilled about it and it's not in time for the holidays. She recently broke down in tears when discussing the news of her parents' appeals. She posted on Instagram, I got a call this morning and the appeals court has granted our oral arguments. I was crying, really crying. The goal of getting mom and dad home is one step closer. The children are frightened. I'm very excited about it. It's incredible. She went on, only about 6% of cases that are submitted for oral arguments are accepted. This is very important news. We get to go debate why parents ought to be at home. God is benevolent. Thanksgiving triumphant.